you invest $10,000 into AMP at 0 0.004978, giving you approximately 208,432 tokens. AMP is a digital collateral token designed for instant, secure transactions, but you're not investing in its mission. You're trading its motion. Since January 2025, AMP has fluctuated within a tight but active range between Dior 39 and 0 0.062 with volatility surging on liquidity spikes and exchange-driven inflows. You don't react to noise. You model behavior. ARIMA 1.1.1 captures AMP's E, short-term directional drift while GARCH 1.1 isolates volatility clustering, a pattern this token consistently exhibits during high-volume periods. The combined forecast projects a 7-day expected value of 00522 with a 95% confidence interval from 0 0.0402 to 00641. That sets your corridor. Your $10,000 could fall to 8,074 or rise to 12,860 even, statistically. RSI currently holds at 62. MACD shows upward separation, and volume has increased by 38% over the last 72 hours. You're holding over 2 million tokens, which means every Zotazen or shift equals over $200 in value. That amplifies even minor changes into actionable outcomes. This isn't passive holding, it's precision exposure. You don't need to guess what the market will do. You just need to understand what it can do within the band. When AMP dips towards 0, 0, 0042, you don't panic. You confirm its position inside your risk floor. When it tests 0, 0.062, you don't chase. You manage within the upper corridor. You've transformed this capital into modeled sensitivity. Your risk is predefined. Your upside is framed. You're not here to predict headlines. You're here to operate inside price geometry. Garch confirms that recent volatility remains within historical norms, meaning the chaos is statistical. Not surprising. You respect the noise, but you don't let it dictate your logic. This is structured response in a world built on reaction. Your system doesn't need trends. It needs variance. AMP gives you variance, and you've aligned your strategy accordingly. Others react to price. They fear dips and cheer pumps. You navigate with discipline, position sizing, and time-tested intervals. You're not waiting for validation from the market. You're applying a framework and letting it run. When price stalls, you reassess volatility, not narrative. When it breaks, you measure distance from center, not direction from influencers. You've built this play not on conviction, but on confidence intervals. That makes your exposure smarter than its size. And that's what turns $10,000 from capital into calculated force.